DLP of Valkyria Chronicles. So uh, we're going to get right into it. We have this report, uh, Parting Ways. Uh, so let's start. More cutscenes. Game of cutscenes. Ellipses. Sir, may I come in? Reese, any results on that thing I asked you to look into? Yes, sir. For starters, this bullet you gave me. Its shape and markings perfectly match rounds used by an experimental Gallian sniper rifle. I see. So Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Gallian force. So, any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It... Tell me, Grease. The night before the shooting, records show Lieutenant Lanzit checked out the rifle. What? Baldio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle. So the clerk remembered it. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanza and has yet to be returned. I can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Baldio. It couldn't be. But it totally could be. And probably is, based on the large picture of Faldio. And the apparent discord happening in the last picture. Hey, Faldio, you in? Guess not. Notes on the Valkyrian race. The anthropology of the Valkyra. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? This is his handwriting. Alicia must be made to awaken. What? Alicia must be made to awaken. No matter how much I try, I can think of no other way. I almost wish I had never joined them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyrie's account of history. History as it truly was. We are all taught of the Darkson Calamity, and how their actions forever scorched the land. But this account told a different story. The Valkyra invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous Darkson people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land, burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. Darksons have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyrie became godlike saviors. The victors simply rewrote the history books. The Barius ruins promulgate a lie to all but their own descendants as hard fact. Reading about the Valkyrie's power, the true face of these saviors, left me stunned. Yet at the same time, I can't help but think of how useful it could be to us now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrie I could find. They lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrie must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. If those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrie stirs at the approach of death. Their power 
having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined ragnite arms of their ancestors, they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyr of all. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. Supposedly their blood serves to amplify the Ragnite's natural power. I have no idea what science lies behind it. Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the Ragnite-rich northern regions. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyria's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. The enemy Valkyria decimated our forces on the Nagyar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt, hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know. The choice I made was right. Baldio! Uh, hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Baldio, where is he? Sir, Captain Verrat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. Okay, so you can probably guess how this cutscene's gonna go. But I do like how, because it is a storybook, these are actually sort of reminiscent of reading a real book. Because, you know, when you're reading a book, if you do read a book, like sometimes your eyes will be reading like the top of it, but they'll wander down so you know like a bit ahead of the story or something. Like, oh shit, like how to get from here to here in like less than a page. Oh, that middle part was really important. So I like how this is reminiscent. going to ask you this once. Was it you who shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. <laughs> Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? The people. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? Caught on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict. That's enough. Listen to each other. You may both be right. But still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Galleon military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. Twenty-four hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. Chapter 15. Citadel Girlendio. Okay. So we have one battle at 4A, then another battle at 5A, and that, okay. So time to save. Uh, okay. Oop. So that was, I kind of, I'm calling some a little bullshit with, uh, with Welkin being punished. It's like, dude, you shot my second-in-command 
Fuck you, man. I should I should at least have the right to punch him once. <laughs> like, he deserves it. He deserves to get punched. He's lucky I didn't shoot him. Thanks to the victory at Nagyar, our forces have pushed the enemy back to the border. The Imperials are currently holed up in the Citadel at Girlendio. Girlendio. A crucial checkpoint along the commerce routes tying Gallia to the east since medieval times. The pass at Girlendio had been fortified for ages. The existing structure was rebuilt as a modern fortress during the First European War, and its grounds were littered with the casualties of war. In the current war, it housed the Empire's command center, and now it stood as their final stronghold. What's our strategy for attacking the Citadel, Captain? Hmm. I still haven't received any details on our orders from above yet. Oh, stop your worrying, Barat! I came here myself to give you your orders! General Damon? I'm honored, but why not just send a messenger? Your regiment really showed him up out there at Nagyar. In return, I'm granting you the honor of assaulting the Citadel at the van of the army. Sir? Man, yeah, that's an honor, douchebag. Here are your orders. There's a supply line running into the Citadel. We're sending a train car loaded down with explosives along it to blow us an entrance. The militia will run along the track ahead of it, flipping the right rail switches. Flipping rail switches, sir? This while dodging a hailstorm of bullets? That sounds like a suicide mission, sir. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the perfect challenge for your fearless crew. If we succeed here, the Empire will finally be forced out of Gallia for good. You'll pave the way for the real army. You got that, Barat? Damn it. Another mission they don't have the guts to do themselves. Maybe. But it's a mission that somebody still needs to do. <laughs> I like how they brought in one random guy to do that one line. <laughs> Precisely. As the general said, if we win, the Empire will be driven out of Gallia. Let this be our final battle. I'll await good news from the field. Dismissed. God. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I have any XP left to try and... No, I did save XP for getting the order. incident grows old and stale. Silvaria, what news have you from the front? Sire, they seek to push our soldiers past the border, and the total of their forces approach those of our own. I see. The advantage now begins to sway towards the other side. It seems the loss at Nagyar has ended our hopes of strolling through the gates of Rondkries. <laughs> the fault lies with me. This would be over, had I but won at Nagyar. Your grace, grant me another chance, I beg you. Please allow me to fight for your glory, sire. <laughs> Dear Selvaria, do you truly wish to be of help? Yes, more than anything. From the time you saved me, Your Grace, I've known that I love you more than I do my own life. Sire, I want to work in the service of your dreams. Very well. 
so, Silvaria. You report that the strength of our opponent now matches our own. In that case, let the fire of destruction rain down upon them. Use the final flame of the Valkyria. But... Your grace! The hour of your death shall mark the inauguration of our rule. Farewell, Sylvaria. Hmm. Can't say I'm impressed, your grace. Making a lady cry? This is simply one of a number of scenarios we'd planned for since before Nagyar. If her prowess as a Valkyria is insufficient, Selvaria's uses quickly narrow to one alone. <laughs> anyway, there's a messenger here for you straight from Castle Randgris. So there is. Let him wait. I have no time for simple messengers now. We are set to commence Operation Steel Side. Jaeger, prepare to return back east. Operation Steel Scythe. What? Then it's... The Marmota's finished? It is. Word has come that it has completed its trial run. The Galleons are hasty to assume victory. We shall see them gutted yet. That's a bit sad. Is everybody here? No. Still no Alicia, boss. Right. Well, let's start. I already heard from another squad. We're prepping some tracks for a bomb. That's right. It's a rough one, but this is a critical mission. Ah, uh, this is the militia. We're used to getting all the bum missions by now. With that settled, there's one question I gotta ask you, boss. Alicia's Valkyria powers and all. You plan to use those this time, too? No, Margo, of course I don't. I have faith in your natural abilities. Who needs Valkyra when I've got you all? Good answer. I'd expect no less from you, boss. We're ready for anything out there. After all, this could very well be it. Yeah, we're fine. You go be with Alicia, boss. She needs you real bad right now. All right. You all know what you're doing. But does he? This is a tough one. Even for nature, boy. Having Alicia and the boss moping around is a drag for the whole squad. I hope for everyone's sake they can pull out of this funk real soon. This funk. Alicia, there you are. What's up? Look at this, Welkin. Guess what? I found some lion's paw growing while I was out on my walk. Here you go. Very sharp. Makes you look like a real gentleman. Uh, well, thank you. They said it was Baldio. Is it true? Afraid so. Then when I... When I walked through camp before... Some of them got down on their knees. Like they were worshipping me. Praise the Valkyria. The Godchild. They... They were... Begging me to save Galia. Me. I mean, what am I supposed to say to that? Alicia, I... What kind of life can... can I live from now on? I wish I knew. <sighs> wow, I'm sorry. Guess that was pretty heavy. 
here we are right before the last battle and I'm not helping things one little bit. Don't worry about me. Sergeant Alicia Melkiot, sir. Reporting. And ready for duty. My mind is focused on the mission. See you later, boss. Alicia. Come on, Welkin. You gotta do better than that. Okay. So... I'm gonna save because... God, I have so many saves of the showdown. Uh, I want to go to headquarters and try and get the uh, next order. Yeah, medic I request. request the medic to evacuate an allied unit. Oh my god. 15,000? Yeah, dude. See, I believe that's one of the ones that I had been uh, offered in an earlier chapter that I was like, oh, I can just get it at any time. And then I screwed up. Because I'm dumb sometimes. Well, I don't even want to say I'm dumb. I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know he would just forget. Like, oh yeah, I forgot about this order that I totally know. Mm. You know. I just Sometimes it just goes off my brain. Um... So, I believe I already did everything else. But I'm going to go to the R&D facility, see if there's anything to buy. Because last time we were in a report, now we're in a new chapter, maybe they unlock some new stuff. Because it seems like we still have quite a bit of unlocking to go through, unless some of it's like New Game Plus. Like, I don't... I'm not quite sure what... when you would get this. Of course, I don't know how long the game is, but I feel like we're getting to the end of it. Just purely based off of, uh, stuff like this. Where it's just like, yeah, the, we're, we're coming up to the final. Like, yeah. Like, look at it. It's like, if we beam here, they're gone. Your mission brief. Cool. Okay, so it seems like rather open. The train track that we got to. Okay. Emmy is braced and waiting for our attack on the Citadel at Gerlandio. Before we can storm the place, we need to pry off the lid. We'll blow in the front gates. The plan as it stands to roll a car loaded with explosives up to the gate and detonate it. Directed is to trip the three switches located along the rail. The switch's location are as you see here. Okay. Just have to push your way forward and hit each one in turn as you go. To activate each switch, approach it in action mode and press the A button. Nice and easy. They'll be banging down you with the Citadel's cannons and among other things. I also advise you to watch for mines. It's time to put everything you've learned in your mission so far to work. <laughs> God, that was a very broken sentence that ruined the. It's time to put everything you've learned in your mission so far to work. <sighs> That's a sentence. That's a very long sentence. There should be some commas in there. So I. Okay, victory is all three switches are activated. Okay. So, I'm guessing we're going to have some people go out to the right to go around, and some people... Okay. So, I'm going to put Alicia on the right. Uh, I'm also going to put Carl here, because the tanks are going to go up probably to the left, or one of the tanks. But I'm going to put Claudia over here, because there will probably be mines in that way. Uh, let's get Ted over here. And I'll put Melville on uh, this side in the back, because he's got movement. Uh, Rosie over here. I'm going to pop Largo right there, because uh, more moves is always good. And uh, I'm not sure how the... Uh, I'm going to put Oscar right there, because I would imagine that they're going to have... Ugh, they'll probably have snipers. That's the thing. Um, I will actually, instead of Largo, I am going to opt not to use Largo and instead use another sniper. Because... Let's get started. I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Because another move would be nice, but... There are three switches total. Let's clear the way. Squad 7, 
Move out. Uh, because there will be tanks, and I have the anti-tank rifle. But well, I'm guessing there will be tanks. Foot soldiers, mortars, tanks. You name it, they'll be sending it all at us. Stay calm and just get from switch to switch. All right, soldiers, move out. Okay. Yeah, we get a lot of moves anyway. So they have a heavy Gatling. Uh, okay. So first things first, let's move the tank up. So that's a troop early. Hostile sighted. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Hostile sighted. I can't see where they're firing. So heavy Gatling. Wait, that's heavy Gatling. Lancer. Okay. So. Fire! Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take him out. I believe I should be able to take out some of the other people along the way using like, these guys. Um, okay. I'm gonna send Alicia around in this direction. Enemy unit spotting. Okay, that's a scout lead. I want to be very careful because I don't want those mines to go off. Enemy unit spotting. Okay, that's good. Target silent. Head for the next one. Okay. Enemy sighted. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to. Come up behind this tank. Think you can stop me? Oh god. You bastard. Okay. My turn, okay? Mashing fire. Now. Yeah, I'm just gonna take out that tank because that will be annoying. Hmm. You can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Uh, Here, activate the switch. Okay. Then I'm going to run over here and crouch. And there. Um, what I'm actually going to do. Take my down. snipers and have them retreat. I won't miss. I can't. Um. Come on, hit. Oh yeah, there's no damage at all. And another one. Just figured I would try, see how much it did. I'm gonna have him retreat. That way I can, uh, because I'm gonna occupy this camp, and there's a sniper post right here which would be more useful, because I can use to take out the heavy Gatlings and other snipers. Actually, if... Um, so, first of all, we need to... Um, I'm gonna use Ted I can see your punch line from a mile away. to come around this way. Because I don't have to go around the long way, which should. So, 
38 from this distance. That's, that's quite a bit. Uh, yeah. So, what I'm going to Oh, shit, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I should have just fired at the Lancer. Because I, I have to use a move again. I can see your punch line from a mile away. Luckily, it doesn't matter. Okay, time to occupy this camp. I love playing to a full house. Um, I can go around in that direction, so I'm going to. Enemy found. They're behind us. I don't want to be uh, in sight of the sniper. I'm not too worried about Alicia, though. She's crouched, so even if he does quite a bit to her, he probably won't kill her. Um, I do need to send Carl up, because the tank's probably going to take some hits. this because it gives him a definitive uh, defense bonus, although it may have been pretty dumb of me because this, he's still in range of the sniper. Um, um, where are these? Okay, so those are tanks. I need to call Oscar in. Because he's the one who's going to be taking out those tanks. Um, I'm going to see whether or not Marina is going to be able to take out the enemy sniper. Um, this position. Oh, wow. That will save you. Okay. So that was good. I'm gonna use another one because that sniper is going to be uh, pretty bad for me. Ugh, shouldn't have walked. Uh, pretty bad for me if uh, he's able to shoot. So I'm gonna aim for the chest because it's gonna take him out. And they lose a turn. Which is always very good. Sweet dreams. So now, uh, there's probably people over there. So I'm going to move Rena slightly forward. Because I completely forgot about that left path. <laughs> uh, so those people might come out. But hopefully, the out of ice will be able to crossfire them. Very glad that she is crouched. Okay. Okay. thing you need to do is push up. God damn it. I 
accidentally clicked when I didn't want to, but I'm going to save right now because it's just better. Okay, so I'm going to send Melville up to the left to take out that guy because I don't want him taking out my, uh... I don't want him taking out my sniper or engineer from behind. So. Okay. Now, one thing I will do is I'm gonna try because. I'm gonna try and get Ted to take out that tank by running around behind. Of course, if that doesn't work, then oh well. But. Okay, so that's six shots from here. So it was going to be six shots from anywhere, and I just lost some health because I'm dumb. I forgot that uh, Alicia has a better uh, gun. I love playing to a full house. Enemy found. Huh? Ted's there. I'm actually gonna try and get him to come up. Because I believe you can only capture this from up here. I'm not sure though. Um, they did actually request reinforcements from here. So. Um, I'm actually gonna. I'm, I'm gonna have Ted be a hero. I can see your punchline from a mile away. Cause I need to. Okay, yeah. So that's. Out of ammo. Ooh, found one. So gonna take this, occupy that camp. Then I'm gonna crouch at the camp. So I just, I just took out their uh, request, the reinforcement requests by doing that, which is nice. Um. So now, I'm going to take Oscar and hopefully have enough movement to get him to the sniper post. Now, what I'm hoping... Okay. Because I want to take out Matt's the cleaner. I'm going to end that action. And I'm going to save, because if I miss any of these by some unluckiness... Uh, I'm not just going to leave that tank there and have Oscar die. <laughs> uh, or take have Oscar taken out. Because he's a little bit too useful. Um, because hell, he could probably take out this tank. And actually probably should take out this tank. Because chances are that one is... This one's a special one, and it's... Wait, I saw a one somewhere. Where the fuck is that a one? There's a special crit spot. Cool. Okay. So, end there. And then I'm going to uh, save again. Because that was very opportune. And then... Tanks aren't nothing to me anymore. Okay, so I just took out, I believe, all their tanks. Which greatly helps my people in their survivability. And I'm going to actually have Oscar, uh, like, next to the tower. Because I believe the tower will probably tank a hit for him if the cannons decide to go off. Now, here's the question. I don't know what all these 
these triangles are. But I do want to move Carl up. Because... I believe these are anti-tank mines. But these are anti-personnel mines. supposed to stop when I... Son of a bitch. He doesn't have any more shots. You know what? Fuck that heavy gatling, because I'm going to resupply his ammo, because he only gains one shot per turn anyway. So supplies here. Ammo the works. On a move now. I'm climb. Fucker. Yes. Enemy unit neutralized. I'll get that down and end turn there. If I really wanted to cheap it out, I would just uh, reload to my save where I took out the medium tank. Good. That reload. And now they're going to use turns to request reinforcements there and there. Ooh. Okay. Not liking that. Oscar is important. But... I was really hoping Alicia would be able to take her out, like... Damn it. Son of a whore. Whatever. He had basically done all his, uh, all his work at that point. But now I can't... What the hell? Ah, because of the points. Okay. So... It's unfortunate, but... I need to use Alicia. Because I need to flip this switch and this switch. Um, so I'm going to need to move Ted anyway. But... I'm going to use Melville. Okay, screw you from over there with your bullshitness. How do you... Why do you do take so little damage? Oh my god. They're able to just get a shot in whenever they goddamn want. It takes two shots to kill you with that. Fuck you, get out from under there. Bitch.
why he was looking that way. <laughs> but I'll take it. Switches. Just one left to go. And then that gate's supposed to be like the block. The thing that makes it so it's hard to get through. But they came all this way just to die. Uh I'm going to actually Don't move around on this put her like that. And now, on the other side there is nobody. Because these are Oh, they're Gatling Bunkers. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna need to take those things out before I... I can see your punchline from a mile away! Before I, uh... Attempt... To... I love playing to a full house! Are you still on me? Okay. Are you serious? They don't have... Where are you? Where'd you go? God damn it, they don't have. How many are there now? That's acid tree. now go down again while staying out of the mortar while in my base. By now you have a base. And then I'm going to uh, Here we go. I need to use my tank. Seven shots to kill the Gatling Bunker. There's no. That's so dumb. There's no. Uh, I don't want to have to have Melville run in there, just taking hits. I'll knock him dead. Okay. I can see your punch line from a mile away. I'm just gonna take him out like that. Thank you, thank you. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Watch out for landmines. Ugh. Okay, great. So I know where the extent of it is, and it can eliminate, essentially, all my health. No. Eliminate, like, all my health in a second? So, you know, that's... that's fair. How are you supposed to get through if they do that much damage? Is there no... I don't believe you can open this gate. Um, who would I be able to? One of them. Elville's almost dead. So I should, I should put him in the camp. After I go and retrieve Oscar. God, I'm probably not going to be able to make it. Shots, you bitch. Okay. So, let's see. Are there any orders in which they could help me? 
attack all enemy units uses 6 CP. It's not bad. Mortar, attack weak spot, demolition, anti tanks, first aid, awaken potential, awakens one. Okay, so it uses their potentials. So it might be useful for Alicia to try and get to the Gatling gun and then I use that on her. Because if I'm assuming it's right, uh, what it'll do is it will give her the resist crossfire. No, don't end the current phase. So, what I need to do is I need to get her around this way. My turn, okay? Because there's no gate switch, I believe. Okay. Nice work! Take them down! She's rocking this. This is good. Okay. So, should be fine. And what I'm going to do is, because I plan on using an order, I'm going to save to make sure I'm uh, in my right mind, essentially. I'm going to end phase to keep some CP. got some reinforcements, but I'm not sure the type of unit they got. Okay, so they seem to be more coming around to that side. And they're just letting it do. Which is nice. See, I thought because like they're the ladders and whatnot. I'm not sure if I'm not understanding something. Like, if you put a grenade behind him, maybe it'll kill him. I'm actually kind of curious, because if that will, like, if that's how it works, because there has to be a reason why they give you this up. So I'm actually, I'm actually going to try that, because Ted isn't going to be the one that I use to try and get to the Switch. He's just a person. Um, this is the one that's going to be firing at them first, so I should probably get... Wow, demon bounced off so fucking far. God, you piece of shit, I hope you know that. This is gonna be a like a bomb run. So system save save here. Now I'm going to order. I'm gonna have you awaken your potential. You can do this. Trust in yourself. So I'm hoping what that does is it gave me resist crossfire. Hmm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. We have to take back the Think you can stop Okay. Me? That's good. Yes, good. item set to Ragnade in case I needed to use it, although I'm not sure how Ragnade works on a target that's being attacked. Operation complete. The road's open, Sevens. Yeah, we did it. Wow, A rank 2. I'm getting better at this game. 
course, having DLC weapons definitely helps. It's the used firing calculator from the enemy. Awesome. Great! There's a clear path to the Citadel! Proud warriors of Gallia, I must commend you. You have breached Girlandio's gates! Look up there! The Valkyria! We meet again? It looks like fate is toying with us. You have already defeated me once, as a Valkyria. Still, I have come to fight you again. It's a matter of pride, but this time, I will face you as a woman. This will be our last time then. One of us is going to die here. Now, we fight! Okay. So, she is so it doesn't, it seems like what's gonna happen is she's not gonna be in Valkyria form, which, so is she a sniper? Because that looked like a sniper rifle. Uh, but regardless, I am going to, ugh, look at these, it's so nice just seeing it go up every single time. So let's go to headquarters and finish the lances. The Lancers training field. But yeah, they they definitely intend for you to grind in this game. Because they give you the skirmishes, but the skirmishes don't go really fast. And the XP they give is like it's kinda paltry. Cool. Soldiers worked long and hard to become what you are today. True elites. As Galia's finest, you're all fit to be called heroes. Her Highness even has a medal for you. Lieutenant Guther, you shared in your soldiers' struggles. Now you've brought up a fine squad. I tell you, you're one fast learner. You've mastered a lot of what it takes to command. I take no small amount of pride in having trained you soldiers these last few months. Now I join the rest of Galia in asking you all to go out there and fight for our future. Unlike the rest of Galia, I've seen what you soldiers can do. I will be sleeping easy. All glory be to Galia! May the Valkyrie keep you soldiers! And know that if you do lose out there, I'll be waiting here to kick your sorry tails! Yeah. Did it. Okay, so now money. What can money buy me? Everything. Clip size up. See, these are actually some of the few guns that are still decently useful to buy, simply because I only have one uh, machine gun for DLC. Uh, but these guys are pointless. But I buy them anyway, because I have the money. I need not. I want not. I will leave this war rich. It do like, how many more battles do we get? Because only some of the weapons are allowed to upgrade every time. Like, this one isn't. The uniforms? So, do we have, what, two more battles? Like, the next battle, give me the next one, and then a final battle or something? Because there are two more ranks. Yeah, it seems like there's two more ranks for just about everything. Except for this one. This one's three. Which throws me off. And then you get to the tank. Okay, mortar upgrade. That's good. Do more damage with mortar. And then steel upgrade. Give me some more defense. Because... Want my tank to survive. Spare tread four. I'm not gonna equip it, but Yeah, like that would be such a big block. Like, I understand the treads are important. But see that would actually be be pretty decent. Because it gives you plus two hundred crit resist. 
Like, that's actually really good. Especially if you're worried about, uh, like, a Lancer coming at you from behind like I usually am. But I'm more uh, akin to just killing them. <laughs> like, yeah, let's just kill them instead. Let's go, let's actively take out the Lancer instead of letting him take a turn. Take out anything that can hurt the tank first. You're such, like, I have so lit, like, you give me so little upgrades in terms of, like, <laughs> that's one of the more annoying ones, because, like, the Shamrock doesn't have a lot of upgrades. It doesn't have a lot. Like, it got that much, has this much, this much. But yet, you'll give me, like, like, boom. There, you don't, I don't have a lot of space to put these in. And yet, you give me one like this, where I would have to take out one of the better ones. It's like, it's very dumb. You don't give me enough space. Um, that advice. Because I did get that, uh, which enhanced firing calculator. So it bumped my accuracy by 20. It's not bad, but I wish I could also rotate the pieces. Um, yeah, so that's that's fine. Uh, and I have not gone to Castle Front Street. Uh -huh. Nope, did not mean to. Damn it. When mashing doesn't work. Oh, wow, holy shit. What the hell? I'm just dropping all of these? Okay. Well. <laughs> Guess what we're gonna be doing for the next few episodes. Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. So book mode. Or no, no, let's go to the audience, I'll get that out of the way. Rubbing my nose. Lieutenant Welkin Duncan, step forward. Stepping forward. For your... Yeah. Yeah, guns. Lances. May you... Yeah. What? I'm going back. So I think they'd have, like, a medal for me. Okay, I guess not. Hmm. So they just gave me those things? Well, let's, let's check. Yeah. yeah. Car 8 is just better. You are incapable of giving me superior weapons, your majesty. So... Actually... You can give me a few good ones. I guess I'll give you this. give me good gun, except everyone else do not need to go. Okay, so let's... So done training field R&D, castle front, or cemetery, all done. Uh, and I got an achievement, order the golden wings, new episode, new report, personnel tab, credit, 
Yeah, now you've like why so she awaits. Flyer on the battlefield. Why weren't these unlocked earlier? Report what lies beyond hate. God, they go so far. <laughs> like, this is a report I unlocked. And now I have to go all the way back to here? Like Report. Signs of awakening. Okay, well I guess I'll do it here. Like, this is such a stupid way of aligning these. Okay, that's, that's fabulous. It's gonna take me a while to get through all these because each of them has a battle. Uh, okay, so I will see you guys in the next episode. And we're gonna do the reports before getting back to the main stuff. And then I'm sure, like, once I get to the main stuff again, I'll show the cutscene with Silvaria once, once more. So, with that, I'm gonna end this episode. I hope you all have a very nice day.